understand about sentences and then discuss the type of sentence which is interrogative sentence. Now first let us understand the term sentence. Sentence is basically a group of words which are arranged together so that a meaningful sentence can be formed. Now that sentence can be an affirmative sentence, it can be a demonstrative sentence, it can be an interrogative sentence. So today we will be discussing about interrogative sentences. Now interrogative means to ask questions. Interrogate means to ask question and thereby we derive the word interrogative. Now interrogative sentences are those sentences which form questions so that any information about someone or something can be gathered. So the definition of interrogative sentences can be these are sentences which form questions to gather information about something or someone. So these are the sentences which form questions to gather information about something or someone. They end with question mark. So they end with a question mark. Example of interrogative sentences can be Example can be Are you going to Delhi? Another question that can be asked is What is your name? Then another example can be Do you want something? Now, out of all these three sentences, if you notice that we are asking the questions in order to gain some kind of information from someone. Like I say, are you going to Delhi? Now here I am asking the person just in order to make sure that I know that whether this person is going to Delhi or not. So for my information, I am asking this question. So interrogative sentences are those sentences which form questions so that some kind of information can be gathered from someone. What is your name? Again, I am asking the question because I am curious to know the person's name. Next is, do you want something? Again, I want to make sure that if the person is comfortable or if the person needs something from me or not. Now, interrogative questions can be of different type, right? So, the first way of asking the question is, I can say, yes, no questions. Yes, no questions. Now these are those questions, the answer of which we get as yes or no, right? For example, I say, are you feeling well? Now when I'm asking this question, are you feeling well? Now the answer can be either yes or no, depending upon the condition of the person, depending upon the behavior of the person, I can notice that if the person is feeling well, so yes, and if not, my answer will be no. So again, the answer is in yes, no form. Now, here the question is beginning with R. Another can be,
हैव यू बिन टू मुंबई नव वेन आई एम आस्किंग द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द वर्ड हैव अगेन माई आंसर विल बी येस और नो सो द क्वेश्चन आस्ट फ्रॉम द वर्ड आर आर यू ओके आर यू गोइंग समवेर आर यू फाइन Are you leaving? So again, the answer will be yes or no. And for the questions beginning with have, have you met your mother? Have you talked to your father? Again, the answer will be yes or no. Then third can be, do you like eating sweets? Now, do you like eating sweets? Again, my answer can be yes, I do, or no, I do not. So these are the yes/no questions beginning with R, have, do. The past tense of do is did, so even that is used for asking yes/no questions. Have can become had, R can become were. So these are all the words which are used for asking yes/no questions. Another way in which we can use interrogative sentences can be by using wh words. Wh words include why, where, what, which, right? So wh words example are where is your mother? Now a person asks, "Where is your mother?" Again, this is a question I am asking in order to know that where the person's mother is. Again, to gather information, I am asking the question. Then I can say, "Why are you late today?" Now again, when I ask why are you late today, I want to know the reason. I am asking because I want the information. I want to know why the person is late today. Again, W H word. Then next is, what would you like to drink? Now, what would you like to drink? Again, I'm asking because I want to know what the person would like to drink so that I can get that for the person. Then, whose address is this? Now, whose address is this again? W H. So where, why, what, whose, all these are W H words which are used for asking questions or which are used for interrogation. This was the second way in which the, uh, interrogative sentences can be used. The third form is question tags. Question tags are used at the end of the sentences. First, I say something and then I use it in a negative form. Or when I say, when I start a negative sentence, then I use it in a positive form. This will be more clear when we understand it through examples. Now, the first example can be. You do not seem fine. Do you? Now I am using "do not" in my first part of the sentence, so my ending question tag will be positive. If here I am making use of a negative word, then my Question tag will be positive. We cannot use it like you do not live, you do not seem fine, don't you? 
If I am starting a sentence with negativity, I will end it with positivity. Another example can be Your mother is arriving tomorrow. Isn't she? Now here, if you notice, that is arriving is a positive form. There is no negative sentence over here. Since the sentence is positive, my question tag will be negative. So the rule that we can understand from the two sentences is that if my first part of the sentence is negative, then the question tag that I will use will be positive. If my first part of the sentence is positive, then the question tag used will be negative. There cannot be two positives, there cannot be two negatives. If one is positive, the other has to be negative. If one is negative, the other has to be positive. I can explain it through other example. The third example can be Shreya will be leaving early. Now if I say Shreya will be leaving early, will be is my positive form of the sentence. Will be is positive because there is no negative word like no. Now Shreya will be leaving early. I have one positive so the next part will be negative and I will say won't she. Shreya will be leaving early. Won't she? Won't she is negative. Again I have the combination of positive and negative. So in this video we have discussed about sentences and we have discussed about a particular type of sentence which is interrogative sentence. Interrogative sentence is used to form questions in order to gather information about something or someone. We can use interrogative sentences with yes no form by using wh words or by using the question tags. Then we studied an important rule for using question tags that in a sentence if the first part is negative, then the question tag used will be positive. And if the first part is positive, then the question tag used will be negative.